Hello there gorgeous gamers and welcome back to Pure Play TV and we have our review for Get Packed Fully Loaded, a game that was previously a Stadia exclusive, but it has since packed its bags and come on down from the cloud to move into a console near you. But is it any good, or should it be served an eviction notice? Watch on and find out. Get Packed is not your typical co-op game. In fact, co-op is discouraged. Not that my partner and I paid much mind to that, at least not at first. Get Packed Fully Loaded is Moonshine Studios spin on the couch multiplayer mayhem genre, a subsection of gaming that has done really well with the likes of Overcooked and, well, Overcooked 2. There are more of course, but these are the big hits in my house. The game frames its madness inside a silly story about a corporation taking over a town. Four friends who work together as a removals company start off the game by helping residents move their valuables out of their homes and into a big red truck. As you progress through the campaign, things take a turn and the group moves away from the residential contracts and move on to bigger things like robbing a bank and a museum before ending up in the clink. Not that imprisonment stops the gang from their activities. While the prisoners are packing cellmate shivs, the hardcore removals team carry on packing everything else. It's a silly framing device but as charming as you'd like and it provides plenty of locations to play at as well as some unlockable characters and character items if that kind of stuff matters to you. Get Packed can be played either solo or with up to three others, either offline or on the same console or online via the magic of the internet. No matter how you play, the job is always the same, and that is to get as much swag out of each location and pack it into the tiny van waiting outside. You need to be careful though because smashing windows or damaging property will deduct from your final score and it's that score that determines whether you're going to the next level or staying in the current one until you learn to be more careful. Playing single player is actually not bad, it's how I played the game back last year on Google Stadia. It's best played with at least one other player though and that's how I've spent most of my time playing Get Packed Fully Loaded. Playing with my other half was fun, but unremarkable. We each complained that it was just too simple. We would coordinate and plan out our approach. I would run inside and grab the valuables, bring them outside and drop them in a pile for her to load into the van and send it off when it was full. Then we'd make another pile while we waited for the van to return a few moments later, empty and ready to be filled up again. Each player is given an individual score at the end of each round. We didn't really care about our scores, we just wanted to progress through the campaign. Until I decided to be a dickhead. On the next round, as my partner was loading the van, I locked her in and sent her away. She was not happy and I got a kick from the other side of the sofa. Deserved, but worth it. Because it was the kick that made me realise the true nature of Get Packed. And that is, to annoy the other players until they scream, Get F***ed, after being knocked over pushed into traffic and locked in the van repeatedly. Get Packed became a weapon of annoyance and as a person who prides themselves on their ability to annoy, wind up and infuriate, I was in my element, even if my leg was starting to get just a little bit sore. Get Packed is best played with at least another person and with the aim of competing instead of cooperating. Sure, you can help each other, but it's more fun to use the game's wacky physics to your advantage so that you're the top worker at the end of each shift. In the 3,000 jobs I've done in my life, I've never been the top worker of any shift. But none of them let me smash my co-workers into oncoming traffic with an ATM machine. So, yeah, the odds were always stacked against me. And that is the end of this review. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go on down below, leave a comment, like and subscribe to the channel with notifications enabled so that you don't miss a video. The info box has all our special links, so check them out. I've been Chris, you've been gorgeous and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, bye bye.